Hello, what's up? Once again, this is Ali for another PS2 tutorial and this time on how to use uh, or how to play PS2 games uh, using a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive. On this video, we are going to cover how to prepare our media or storage uh, for our games uh, and how and where to transfer our files. Uh, we will also cover um, some issues that uh, we may encounter and how to fix them. On this video, we are going to require a PS2 that has a MacBook. So if your PS2 don't have a MacBook yet, I strongly suggest that uh, you check our video first on how to install MacBook on our PS2. We'll just uh, leave a link on our description. So please uh, go ahead and check them. And uh, once you already have a MacBook, uh, you can go ahead and proceed on this video on how to play PS2 games using our USB thumb drive or external hard drive. We'll also cover how to prepare our games whether they are from your personal DVD collections or from our trusted uh, online source. So let us go ahead on this video and uh, first uh, show you how and where to get the files that we need and later on we'll show you how to use them. For the files, uh, let's go ahead and start with our OPL. This is uh, going to be our game manager and we will use this to load PS1 and PS2 games on our PS2 using a USB hard drive or an external hard drive. So just open the link and scroll down until you get to this part. The second link with a 1.18 MB. So just click and it will automatically download the file and just choose a place where you can easily access the file but uh, let's just go ahead and save all of our files in our desktop. Next is our magic ISO. So we use uh, this program uh, to convert or to rip our DVD games uh, so in case uh, you plan uh, to use your DVD collection and convert them uh, on ISO and use them. Uh, for USB or external hard drive gaming, we are going to use this program to rip our DVD games to ISO. So again, open the link that we will share on our description and click on this link and it will download the file. Again, let us just go ahead and save this on our desktop. Then our FAT32 formatter. In case you plan to use a hard drive or an external hard drive that hasn't been formatted to PS2, we have to format that hard drive to a format that a PS2 supports, and that is FAT32. And just click on the link, and again, it will automatically download and save them on our desktop. Last is our USB utility. Since FAT32 has a limitation of 4 gig single file, we cannot store games that has a file of above 4 gig. So we are going to use this program to split the file so that we can store them on our storage. So just open the link and it will automatically download our file. Again, save this on our desktop. For our file, so let's start with the Magic ISO because this is the only files that we need that requires installing before we can use them. So just uh, double click on the file and it will start uh, a installation wizard. So just follow the whole process to install the file. But uh, since I already have it here, I don't have uh, to install them. After installing, just run the program. Unfortunately, my DVD ROM is already busted so I won't be able to show you exactly how to rip a DVD game. But it's very simple. So just uh, click on the tools. And here on the very first option, make ISO from CD or DVD ROM. Here we choose the drive of our CD or DVD ROM. Then uh, here we can choose where to save uh, the file or the ISO. And on this part, we are going to choose ISO for our PS2. And uh, once everything has uh, been set, click on OK. And it will rip your DVD games uh, to ISO. Next, I will show you how to format your hard drive to FAT32. So just right click on this file and extract here. And uh, you will have uh, this folder. Inside the folder, we can run the program. And here on this part, we can choose what drive to format to FAT32. So just uh, carefully pick your hard drive. So in our case, uh, this is our hard drive that we, are, that we will use on the PS2. So we have this on the drive F this one so carefully check you have uh, the correct drive because you don't want to format a wrong drive and once you are satisfied uh, click here on this part then initialize drive after initialization again click here then quick format then start 
and it should format your hard drive to FAT32. You can check it by right clicking on the drive, then properties here on the file system you should see here FAT32. Next is our USB utility. So just right click and extract here. And inside the folder, we can run this program. If we have an ISO that is above 4 gig, we have to use this program to split the file so that we can fit them on our hard drive or USB thumb drive. Next, I'll show you how to prepare our hard drive for our games. Let us go back to our external hard drive. On the root of our hard drive, we have to create two folders that is a CD and a DVD. So all of our CD format ISO should be placed inside the CD folder and all of our DVD format ISO should be placed inside the DVD folder. So how do we know their format? If a game has a size of 600 MB and below, so to be exact that is 720 MB and below, that is a CD format. And if a game has a size of 700 MB, 50 or let's say 800 MB and above that is on a DVD format so make sure that you place them on the right folder I actually have uh, some games here already so inside the CD folder I have here the Tekken Tag Marvel vs Capcom 2 and the Bloody Roar 3 you will notice here that the size is less than 600 MB and on our DVD folder we have here a couple of games uh, that has a file of uh, 4 gig and below actually this SNES collection only has uh, somewhere around 3.87 gig so here's uh, where you can uh, check the actual size of uh, the ISO if it's above uh, 4 gig you will have uh, to use a USB utility to transfer the files in your external hard drive let us go ahead and uh, use our USB utility to convert or split a file that is above uh, 4 gig just click on OK and on the files, choose here create game from ISO. And here on this part, we are going to choose uh, the ISO or we are going to select the ISO. So our ISO is on uh, drive G. And we're going to choose uh, or select the folder where the ISO are located. Here you will see the size here 4.20 gig so we have uh, to um, split this file first before we can uh, transfer them on our external hard drive here on this part we are going to select uh, the destination and our destination is a uh, drive F so click on the drop down menu and uh, choose drive F and uh, click on create so once the conversion has been completed we just press and close and uh, sometimes you would have uh, to check uh, this part uh, if uh, the game has uh, been converted properly because uh, there are some cases especially when your hard drive or when your storage uh, has uh, been fragmented sometimes you will see here a bad status uh, when that happens all you have to do is uh, just uh, delete the game and uh, just convert it again so to delete the game just uh, highlight the game then press on delete so once you have uh, prepared the game, it's time for us to go to the PS2 and show you how to load uh, these games we have on our external hard drive. On the PS2, uh, the very first thing we need uh, is uh, to prepare our OPL. We can uh, just uh, leave them on uh, the external hard drive where we transfer it or we can uh, save it on, uh, on the memory card of our PS2. And it is uh, very advisable to just save them on our memory card. To do that, let's go on the U launch. Here we can uh, browse our files. Uh, we can uh, move, transfer, copy uh, all of the uh, files from the, the devices that we have uh, on our PS2 by simply going to the file browser. And uh, these are the things that are connected to our PS2. MC0 is uh, the memory card uh, slot 1. MC1 is the memory card slot 2. And mass is the USB or the external hard drive or the USB port of our PS2. So here we can navigate our hard drive. So this is our OPL. To copy this, I just press R1 and copy. Then, uh, by the way, uh, since my memory card is placed on the second slot, it is located on MC1. So let's click on MC1. 
And by the way, it's also advisable uh, to place all of your homebrew or your files in a single folder. So it will be easier to navigate them. So in our case, uh, let's go uh, in the boot folder and uh, press R1 and uh, paste uh, if you want to place it here. So since I already have uh, my OPL here, I will uh, just cancel this one. And uh, here we can uh, go ahead and configure our U launchers in a way that is uh, easier for you to navigate by simply going to the configure and uh, you can uh, manage your files here that is why it is uh, advisable to place all of your uh, files or homebrew in a single folder so it's easier to place them anywhere you want so once you are satisfied just press on ok and uh, let us go ahead and run our opl once here it should automatically load your games but in case uh, it is your first time loading opl we'll have to change some configuration first so on the settings on the bdm start mode you can either choose auto or manual but make sure that it's not on off otherwise your ps2 will not be the your usb or your external hard drive i'll just go ahead and put this on auto and on the ps1 games in case uh, in case you plan to play ps1 games as well make sure that this one is also on auto mode and once you are satisfied uh, press ok and don't forget to save the changes and once you are done you can just press start to load your games let us go ahead now and try to address uh, some uh, issues uh, that we may encounter so in case uh, your games are not uh, going here make sure that your hard drive first must be formatted to fat32 then uh, make sure that we have our games on the right folder so it's either the dvd or the cd and uh, also make sure that we download the latest opl because uh, some older version of opl uh, requires a specific file name uh, to load the games so if you have uh, the latest opl version all you have to do is uh, place uh, the iso on the right folder and in case uh, you're still uh, not getting your games here then one of the possible reason is you have a busted USB. So you have to check the status of your USB if it's working properly. Where I have some cases before where the PS2 does not recognize the USB. So um, step one, always make sure that we have the right format on the PS2. Step two, that uh, make sure we have uh, placed our you um, our games on the right folder, and uh, make sure we have uh, the correct OPL version. And lastly, if you have a game that has a size of above 4 gig, make sure that you uh, you use uh, the USB utility and check the status of the game. Make sure that it has a good status. Let's go ahead and uh, try our San Andreas. This was the game that we have uh, converted. So let's check if uh, it will work uh, with uh, no issues. all right so uh, that's it for our video so if you have uh, any questions or if you run through some issues and problems uh, don't uh, don't hesitate to share them on our comment section and i will try to address them and you can also contact me on my facebook page uh, for questions and suggestions uh, and again this is Ali. if you found this video helpful please uh, do leave me a thumbs up and uh, please do subscribe and see you on the next video Bye bye